I'm Sridhar Rajagopal with ProtoStax. In the last video, we looked at how you can vertically stack ProtoStax enclosures to create towers of varying configurations. In today's video, we'll look at how to stack them horizontally, that is side by side or next to each other. We're going to look at how to horizontally stack uh, different ProtoStax enclosures. So we'll start with looking at how to stack uh, two enclosures uh, side by side. You can either stack them this way or stack them along the short side like so. You can also add additional enclosures to the mix, for example, like so or like so. Or like so. The possibilities are endless and you can even add a fourth one to the mix like this and build it out uh, as much as is practical. So this is a classic example where you have a microcontroller board on one side and a breadboard on the other and so this allows you to um, to breadboard all of your um, electronics your sensors and other components uh, here connect it to your microcontroller and program the whole thing and uh, you can start out with it being a prototyping plate like this where it's everything is open and then once you're done, you can actually put walls in and make it into a uh, closed uh, enclosure. The first thing that we would need to horizontally stack enclosures is the horizontal stacking kit. This comes with a bunch of pieces that will allow you to stack uh, up to about three or even four different uh, enclosures horizontally depending on your configuration and they all come with a uh, protective uh, paper that you can uh, peel off. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the various components of the horizontal stacking kit. Um, these have various different interconnects used to uh, connect the different enclosures in different configurations. Uh, these guys are used to connect uh, two enclosures uh, together and these guys are used to connect three of them and these guys are used in areas where four corners meet. So where two corners meet, two edges meet. Uh, three corners meet and by four corners meet and these guys are used uh, in between uh, the uh, enclosures as a sidewall uh, filler to close the gap. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate first how to uh, stack these guys in this configuration. So first thing you'd want to do is take out the lower vertical bracing element, set it aside and take it out on all four corners that meet. And what we are going to do is, and then we need two of these guys. And what we're going to do is take out these two uh, spacers and replace them with an interconnect. Put the vertical lower vertical bracing element back in and tighten it and do it on the other uh, side and repeat the process on the other corner. And that's it. Uh, we have 
horizontally stacked uh, two enclosures in a platform configuration. So now you can actually go ahead and start with your prototyping and everything is held together nicely and protected by rubber feet and also co-located. So um, once you start wiring the Arduino to the breadboard, uh, everything is going to stay in place. Now that we've seen the basic example of horizontal stacking, let's take a look at how the various uh, horizontal stacking interconnects work under different configurations. The first example we've seen is uh, stacking two units along the long uh, edge. And uh, we saw that here we replace the four individual washers uh, where the edges meet with two corner horizontal stacking interconnects. And stacking two units along the short edge is uh, very similar where the four individual washers get replaced by the two corner horizontal stacking interconnects. Stacking three units is very similar, except that you have an area in the middle where three corners meet. So we replace all the uh, areas where two corners meet with two corner horizontal stacking interconnects and the area in the middle, the three uh, individual washers get replaced with a three corner horizontal stacking interconnect. Stacking four units is again very similar. So we start with uh, replacing the individual washers where along the uh, uh, edges where two corners meet with the two corner horizontal stacking interconnects and the area in the in the middle where four corners meet gets replaced with a four corner horizontal stacking interconnect um, once we have done this adding any more um, extra horizontal stacking in either direction should work exactly as uh, described where two corners three corners are four corners meet. You replace them with the equivalent horizontal stacking interconnects. Coming back to our basic example, I've gone ahead and recreated the circuit for the touchless musical hand wash timer project that we published uh, on the Protostax project hub. I've included a link to that uh, below in the description and uh, done all the wiring and I also used the um, ultrasonic extension kit for the HCSR04 to uh, mount it to one of the side walls. So at this point uh, we have a uh, few options available to us. We can leave it as such as a prototyping platform or we can go ahead and close it up and of course uh, let's go ahead and do that so I'm going to take all of our upper vertical bracing elements and install them okay so now that we've done this, uh, we still have a couple of options available to us. The first being that uh, we can go ahead and um, leave this enclosure in an open configuration, that is without any side walls. So the way that we would do that is to just add the, um, the top plate but in order to do that, we'd also use, go ahead and use the washers. 
top screws. So here we would go ahead and insert the washer between the vertical bracing element and the top plate. and put the screw in through and screw everything in make sure not to over tighten it because we want to put the other ones in also and here instead of the washer at this corner Similar to what we did on the uh, bottom plates, we'd go ahead and insert the two corner horizontal stacking interconnect in between the vertical bracing element and the top plate. And insert the screw. Screw it in again. Uh, not all the way through. We can do the final tightening when everything is in place. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with the other corners. And similarly, the other um, corner where the two uh, corners meet, I replace it with the horizontal stacking interconnect. and then repeat the process on the other side uh, here, but I also have this uh, side wall. So I want to make sure that it fits into the wall slots. And then close everything up. And these two corners will get the individual washers okay so that's the horizontally stacked uh, enclosures uh, in an open configuration where it's protected but still there is uh, access to it and if you want increased airflow this is a good option to have uh, but I, I actually would like to go ahead and close everything up so let's start over from where we didn't have the side walls. Okay, so now that we want to close everything up, uh, I'll have to insert the side walls in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Again, making sure that the uh, edge where the uh, tabs are further apart is on the bottom. And since I'm using the uh, the side wall from the extension kit, I don't uh, need this piece. And I have, uh, you notice that there is a little gap here in between the two units and that's where these pieces come in. So the horizontal stacking interconnects have a little uh, tab in between and this fits into that tab. And now um, it is possible for me if I want to, I can also put in the inner uh, side walls. Uh, so that might be useful if you need to isolate the two uh, parts. Maybe one side might have some, uh, some high voltage and so you might want to have better isolation between the two. So you might want to, uh, to add the inner side walls as well. In my case, I'm going to omit the inner side walls. And then the next thing that I want to do is take the, the horizontal interconnects and then put them in first over the tab so they sit 
over the uh, the vertical bracing elements. Now I can go ahead and put the top plate on, uh, finessing it such that uh, all the side walls go into the wall slots on both sides. It actually it might be easier at this point to screw this one in first. So I, this one, I can go ahead and start at this corner. And the other corners, I have to first take the individual washer, slide it in between the vertical bracing element and the top plate, and then the screw. Okay, so now for this side, I'm again going to finesse it such that the side walls are going to fit into the wall slots. Then I'll again start at the corner where the two sides meet because it already has the horizontal interconnect in lieu of the washer underneath. So I can finish those two corners first. And then for the other two corners, again, I will start by putting in a washer in between the vertical bracing element and the top plate, and then the screw, and screw it in. There we have it. A fully assembled horizontally stacked enclosure and there is no gap between the two enclosures because of uh, this little sidewall piece. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. We have already created a bunch of extension kits, such as the one for the new Raspberry Pi high quality camera, or for adding push button switches to your project, and many more. We are creating new ones even as I speak, and I'll be delving into those and also interesting Arduino and Raspberry Pi projects. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button below and bell icon to be notified when the next video becomes available. On behalf of the team at ProtoStax, I'm Sridhar Rajagopal. See you next time and happy making.